Distance learning is taking an emotional toll on students everywhere, and the college experience is looking a lot more virtual than usual, which has a lot of incoming freshmen suffering from the college blues. Here to provide more insight on what teens are experiencing in the pandemic is educational and college admissions expert Jill Yoshikawa. Hi, Jill. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thanks for having me. First, start off by telling us how you work with teens and their parents. Um, we advise individual families about the complexities of their educational decisions um, from middle school all the way through um, college. And when we talk about high school, a lot of people associate that those teenage years as being the rite of passage for teenagers. Are they missing out on milestones and experiences right now? Well, of course they are. Um, Teenagers are always flexing their independence, their fledgling independence, because they're away from their parents for hours a day in, in high school. Many of them are joining extracurricular activities and starting clubs um, and taking on more leadership positions because they're just older. Um, and so without those spaces, then they're just at home and they're, they're suffering. They're emotional. Um, it, it's taking an emotional toll. And parents are stressed out too, just at the thought of distance learning. Do you have any tips for parents? What, what are your best tips, I should say? Well, I think that it, it starts with what you know about your students. How do they learn best? Students are, are responding in multiple ways to the distance learning. Some students are really thriving, being freed up from the structure of school. They can get their schoolwork done and then they have plenty of free time to explore their interests and they take that initiative. Other students are struggling more because they need that structure and their teachers have provided that or they can just take those spaces in between the passing period and ask their friends about the assignment or the test from the pre previous period. So it, it, they're missing all of that and they're having to recreate it virtually. And, and parents obviously are dealing with very complicated issues and because teenagers are older, it's easy to say, oh, well, they can handle it or they're A students so they know what they, they need to do. But in many cases, they're still needing direction because we've moved from a self, from a teacher-directed system of education to a more self-directed and kids need practice at being able to do that. And yeah. it's sometimes difficult for parents to understand that their children are making that transition. Right, parents still gotta keep checking in on your teens. Now, a side effect, an unexpected outcome of the pandemic was college students moving home mid-year to quarantine with their families. What's been the impact of that on learning outcomes, especially now that quarantine's kind of been extended? Well, for one of my first year college students last year called it a, the, a massive L, a big loss. It was this huge hole that uh, after six months of getting used to being on their own, being away from their parents, trying to figure out how to be responsible young adults, as well as students, they were sent home. And so for many of them, that was very disruptive. Um, and, and it took a long time for them to sort of grieve through that process. I think the academic wise, since many of them were continuing their semester, they just had existing relationships with their professors and so finished up. However, for some of the students who started a new quarter, um, for example, at the UC, like at UC Davis, they started brand new with no connections to those professors. And many of them never ended up having some sort of live interaction vi virtually or otherwise with their professors and their TAs. And that's the case for high school students this year, as well as our college students. They're having to reestablish brand new connections without any sort of in-person interaction. It's very difficult for both teachers and students. And those connections are essential to the learning process. Yeah, and when you have certain expectations and, and then those get thrown out the window, it is diff difficult to kind of switch your brain and say, okay, this is going to be different. So what's some advice you have for rising high school juniors and seniors who are starting their college search during the pandemic? Well, paying attention to the changes, there's going to be an increased subjectivity in the admissions process. That's our forecast without the backstop of test scores, because they are now optional for the University of California and state colleges in California, plus many private schools, all eight Ivy Leagues have dropped their um, testing requirement or, or suspended it for the year. So it, it's really understanding how do I then redefine my resume so that I can be prepared for that subjectivity and really explain how I'm a qualified candidate and, and my abilities and my talents through my extracurricular resumes, and then also going to be letters of recommendation and as always the essays. 
All right, Jill Yoshikawa, thanks for joining us and sharing some insight on what teens are experiencing right now, especially as they prepare for college. For more articles on the 2020-21 school year, visit creativemarbles.com.